What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general, free general collective reading for all signs. Cups to decide to everybody is clean. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free, free will. Only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 205. The links in the description box below. Single mama, two kids. that help support a single mama. And one of her income streams, please think of me on Monday. Tentatively, my child custody court battle date is 725 2022, which is Monday. That's my birthday. Tomorrow is my son's birthday. He'll be 15. Happy birthday to him. So if everybody could just keep me in your thoughts, prayers, well wishes, and meditations, I very much appreciate it. This is not my first rodeo with him. This is Elise Court battle five if not six or seven. First, custody, uh, first couple times were child support adjustments and I get that because like I said I've been a RN registered nurse since 2013 so I worked in 14 so he took me for child support adjustments in, in 14 which I understood that but then he accused me of child abuse two years ago. He had my sister up in the court of law two years ago testifying against me. And six years ago, he was pulling crazy crap, had me in court because I had a boyfriend. And he was basically manipulating my daughter because he's um, to, for her to take photos in my home of a drawer I made him for his belongings and his uh, and to have her take pictures of the razor and toothbrush and things like that on my sink to prove as evidence in the court of law that he lived with me and he didn't. Because he stated we had to strictly follow by the court paperwork and I was contempt of court and all kinds of crazy shit. So if you could just keep me in your thoughts, prayers, and well wishes, I'd very much appreciate it. It's tentatively on Monday. I'd very much appreciate it, you guys. All right, so we're going to get into it. I hope everybody's doing fantastical. Okay, <clears throat> so the channel, these are psychic intuitive channel messages. One may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only you know your specific story and situation, not anybody else. You plug it in, how it resonates. So the channel message I received was um, a Scorpio masculine, very public online social media platform reader. Um, I heard he um, he claims he is an investigator trying to help. Uh, I heard he has claimed he is an investigator in the past trying to help solve cases. Um, for the FBI, her for the FBI, but um, soon his ass is about to be investigated um, regarding a um, behind the scenes black magic coven, and there's about to be lots of shocking information about to come out soon through shocking series of chain events that's about to connect him to this black magic coven. He never thought it was going to come out, but it is going to come out. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Scorpio masculine online social media platform person. Um, he's a reader. Um, I've been pulling in a lot of online social media platform readers um, in here. Uh, and a lot of masculines. Um, I don't know. Um, Y'all know, well, I know that God of Scorpio Tarot dude, what have you, what have you. I made the video on here for him to contact me. Remember like a month ago or so. He's a Scorpio, but I don't know of anybody else. I don't know who this is for. It might be, I don't know if it's him or somebody else or what have you, what have you. But it's a Scorpio masculine, popular, Um, I didn't hear popular. He was an online tarot card reader. So whoever it is, whoever it is, like I said, the only one I know is I got a Scorpio tarot, but I'm sure there's plenty of Scorpio online tarot card readers, masculines on here. I'm sure there's plenty of them. But, um, uh, Whoever this person is, I heard he has claimed, it sounds like on his online social media platform, that he uh, was investigating for the FBI. And I heard FBI through his readings and stuff. But secretly, he's been in a black magic coven behind the scenes. And there's about to be some kind of shocking series of chain events and shocking evidence that's about to connect him to this black magic coven. I heard he never thought it was going to come out. So, uh, and it's about to come out from someone he would have never expected it to come out from. It's about to piss him off in a huge way. And it's about to come out from someone he would have never expected it to come out from. It's about to piss him off in a huge way. 
So somebody's about to betray him. Uh, I'm assuming they're about to go to the FBI with this evidence or the police or I don't know. Whoever you are, sir, ma'am, I think you watched my channel, the one that's about to betray him. There's a reason I'm pulling this in. So somebody has some evidence on his ass regarding a, black, a secret black magic coven. Um, it could be those karmic ass readers that's been participating in money laundering, possibly. But you plug it in how it resonates. But however that resonates, he gets on the public platform and claims he's investigating for the FBI through terror readings. But in all reality, he's been participating in this black magic COVID secretly behind the scenes, but he doesn't want his online clientele, online public platform, his online peeps to know it. Um, but somebody knows it. You, sir, ma'am, at least one of my subscribers I'm feeling or somebody's about to come across this reading knows it. Um, and you're about to reveal it. You have some kind of evidence on him. I heard, um, so you plug it in how it resonates, but you shouldn't be doing that kind of shit behind the scenes, and that's just the truth. Um, if he's been participating in some kind of black magic coven, he's probably got a lot of views, a lot of attention. He's probably been wielding black magic and using the coven to do it. And it's been probably garnering him a lot of attention, uh, maybe a lot of views, a lot of money, etc., etc., etc. Trickery, yeah, trickery. He's been using deceit behind the scenes, black magic, uh, this, co I mean, this coven, I mean, it's, it's sick. He's a warlock, and the black magic is about to backfire on his ass in a huge way. He's a warlock, and the black magic is about to backfire on his ass in a huge way. So he is a, oh, by day, he's an online popular tarot card. Well, I didn't hear popular, but online social media tarot card reader, whether it's popular or not. By day. By day. Now, he could post at night. We don't know. I mean, maybe he does. I think you guys know this person, is what I'm saying. And one of you guys has evidence on his ass. But by night, he's a warlock. And he uses black magic to wield his shit in. Trickery. I.e. the black magic. Spirit messages you have reflected. This Scorpio masculine has acquired a home and assets he was not supposed to acquire. Through many, 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 many series of shame events, his assets and his home is about to be destroyed in very unexpected ways. Okay, the Scorpio masculine I heard has acquired assets and a home he has uh, wasn't supposed to acquire. But through many, 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 many shocking series of chain events, the assets and the home is about to be destroyed in very unexpected ways. So I think the black magic is about to boomerang back on him, and that's how the home and the assets are about to be destroyed. Now, whatever the assets are, I'm not sure. I didn't hear that part. Um, but they're about to be destroyed in very unexpected ways, meaning I think it's the black magic about to um, come for his ass. Is exactly what I think. But he shouldn't have done what he did, and that's just the truth. Wildflowers reverse, milk upright. A four-wheeler, a home... A truck, a four-wheeler, a home, and a truck, just what I heard. So a four-wheeler, a home, and a truck he has acquired, um, and he wasn't, it, it sounds like he acquired it on stolen money or somebody else's property. Now, I don't know, I don't deal in, uh, I don't deal in criminal activities. Um, so I don't know how the hell he could have acquired something that wasn't his, unless it was for forgery or false documentation or something, but I heard specifically a truck, a four-wheeler, and a home. Um, those are huge ass items. Huge items. A four-wheeler, a truck, and a home. Those that's a whole somebody whole that's a whole life right there. That apparently he wasn't supposed to have. Um you that's sick. That's sick is what that is. Um 
but I heard they're about to be destroyed in very unexpected ways. And somebody has got evidence on him, and I feel it to be you, sir, ma'am, and you're about to display it, I think, to the FBI or to somebody else that's going to maybe get it to the FBI. You plug it in, how it resonates. This is sick. Wildflowers reverse, milk upright, tree upright, wildflowers reverse. This Scorpio masculine has put sex magic on a femme energy in the past, but it's about to backfire on his ass in the form of money loss, business going down, items about to be destroyed. Betrayals are about to come all over the place for him, all over the place. Okay, um, I heard this uh, Scorpio masculine online popular by day, well not popular, but by day S type tarot reader, by night black magic wielder person um, that acquired this apparently this truck, this um, home, and this four wheeler, and he is not supposed to have it. Um, he's about to start getting betrayals on every single end. So I mean, people about to betray him left and right, left right, left right, left right basically. Um, and um, somehow these items are about to start getting destroyed. Now, I don't know if they break down, if something like um, just weird and strange starts occurring. I'm not sure, but I don't know. It reminds me of like Final Destination type stuff. If you might see the movie, uh, movies Final Destination. But however that resonates, um, um, he put sex magic on Fem Energy in the past, but it's about to boomerang back upon him in the form of all the betrayals about to come to him at all ends, and um, all these items about to start getting destroyed. So I think the wildflowers reversed is the items about to get destroyed, and the fact that the black magic, um, the sex magic, the black magic he put on this Fem Energy, it could be you, Fem Energy, he put the sex magic on, or somebody else. It didn't work. It didn't work. And so it's boomerang back. You know, upright, people were giving somebody flowers. They're taking them on a date. It's romance in the air and blah, 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 blah but it didn't work. So I, this reminds me of like dead flowers, dead feelings, dead, um, no, this femme energy is not attracted to him sexually. She doesn't want to be with him sexually. She doesn't want to be with him because maybe she knows he's a warlock, possibly. Who the hell wants to be with somebody and be like, oh, my name is blah, blah, blah. I'm a warlock. Uh, no, nay, nay. Just saying. Milk, milk. This Scorpio masculine com helped completely change somebody's destiny. And through many series of chain of events, his destiny is about to be changed. Oh, that's sick. That's sick. So this Scorpio masculine online by day as type reader. Heard help change somebody's destiny. Probably this fem energy is trying trying to put sex magic on him. He helped change her destiny, I think, in a negative way, or he tried to make it in a ne negative way. But through many shocking series of chain events, his destiny is about to be changed in a negative way. So he was trying so hard to change her destiny to mold his needs. I'm presuming, but. It's about, it's about to backfire on his ass in such a way, such a huge way. It's about to backfire on his ass in such a huge way. So he was trying to mold a person to, it's like he was trying to mold a femme energy for control tactics and probably for money. But it's about to backfire on his ass. Um, his shit's about to start getting destroyed in unexpected ways. If, this, if it's sex magic, I think his libido is about to go down. Uh, I, I think he might be a serial dater. Um, and I'm just being for real. He, maybe his little wee-wee starts going, eh. Maybe he has no desire, no drive sexually. Maybe um, he gets a crazy STD. I mean, I don't know. But he should have had a hand in trying to change somebody's destiny. And that's just the truth. Milk. And he's about to be investigated by the FBI because it's some kind of evidence that you guys have. And through many shocking series of chain events, 
He's about to find out he has a secret child. A DNA test will prove it's his. And the mother is not going to play around. No. And through many shocking series of chain of events, he's about to find out he has a secret child. I heard the DNA evidence is going to prove it's his. And the mother's not going to play around. So I think this is mother's milk. I think it might be an infant that is a secret child, possibly. Because we have the milk card. Um, is what I think. Um, wow. So a secret child of his is about to be exposed. Um, and I heard the DNA test is going to prove it's his child, but the mother's not going to play around with him. Meaning she, I think she's, I think you might be the mother. I think I pulled this in for a reason. Maybe you're the mother that knows this is his secret child, ma'am. And you're about to take his ass to the court of law, get some child support, ma'am. Boom, boom, boom. That's what I'd do. Just saying, just saying. He's Scorpio masculine warlock. He's an online portrays. He's a light side terror reader, ma'am. Only you know who you've been sleeping with, not anybody else. Hell, I haven't had sex in almost four years. So you have to plug in who you've been knocking the boots with there, ma'am. Um, if this is for you. But um, I think a mother's milk. I think this child might be an infant. And maybe you were scared to come forward with child support. Um. The cycles are about to start changing very, very, very quickly. Very quickly. Uh, I think you were scared to come forward with child support, but the cycles are about to start changing quickly. It sounds like you're about to do it. Kudos to you, ma'am. Kudos. Um, like I said, I don't speak to readers on here. I mean, Alicia, spiritual advisor, y'all know, um, I watch her from time to time. I watch some of the other readers from time to time, but do I sit behind the scenes and conversate with them? Hey, how's your day going? How's your business going? Did you get any donations today? No. I do. Um, and that's just the truth. No readers. Like nobody. And that's just the truth. I am my read I am my own soul proprietorship, my own little one person business, and that's it. Um, I do watch some of the other readers from time to time. And that's the truth. But some I mean a lot of my read a lot of my subscribers are readers. So I mean, why not watch their work if they're watching mine? And that's just the truth. Tree. And this secret child has um, be behavioral issues, genetic behavioral issues. He is very immature. You, mother, you're going to have to be very patient and really watch him with this child. Oh, my Lord. So, I, yeah, I'm pulling you in, Mother. I think you watch me, Mother. You watch me. The mother of this child, of the secret child of the Scorpio masculine, I think you watch me. I totally think you watch me, ma'am. There's a reason I'm pulling you in. Oh, you're going to have to watch him. So, it sounds like you're going to go to the court of law and file for child support, and I don't blame you from him. Um, if he's popular, he's probably bringing in a lot of, if he does YouTube, and he gets a lot of views and a lot of view count, um, and a lot of attention, which I don't, only you know if he does or doesn't, but I think you watch him. Um, you obviously know who he is. Hell, he, you allowed him in your private area, just saying. Um, if you want to see if he's getting a lot of view count, is what I'm saying, and a lot of attention. If he is, and he does YouTube, he's getting a lot of back-end revenue from Google AdSense, because we all get back-end revenue from Google AdSense if you do it on YouTube. That's why so many readers read on YouTube. And that's why everybody says like, share, and subscribe so they can get their view count up, so they can go viral, so they can get a lot of view count, so their Google AdSense behind the scenes revenue can come in. The money flow can come in. So, And I wish upon this upon anybody. Absolutely. But that's why everybody says that. So everybody can get their bank up behind the scenes on the back end. And that's just the truth. Um, so, ma'am, I think you watch him, obviously, and, um, I heard your child has some kind of behavioral, genetic behavioral issues. Uh, I feel strongly feel it's an infant. It might be a toddler, maybe, or it might be a school-aged child. 
This could be school age milk, possibly. I don't know how old your uh, this child is. Only you know how old it, uh, this child is. And uh, but, however, this resonates. Um, I heard you're gonna have to watch him with this um, child. I heard he's very immature. He so he might come across very mature on his platform. But if he's wielding black magic behind the scenes, obviously he's not mature. And that's just damn true. Um, I don't care how mature he comes off on his public platform. And that's just damn true. So the spiritual download in that was you're going to have to watch this dude with your child. So I would keep a watchful eye. Be careful. Uh, maybe you can request for monitored visits at the beginning, possibly. Um, we have the family tree card with this child, secret child here. Um, uh, I would request for monitored visits if it was me. Of course, you could take the advice or leave it at first. Um, just to make sure he's going to be okay with your child or children. But that's just me, ma'am. Um, uh, you could take the advice or leave it, okay? But, um, I heard he's very immature. I think you know he is. Um, there's a reason y'all were all baby making, um, not using a rubber, not using protection. So, um, and I'm not judging anybody, but the reality is now you have a baby with this dude. Um, we need to be responsible here, okay? I don't think there's any love here. We have wildflowers, wildflowers reversed. Nobody's bringing anybody flowers. Um, but you do have a little or a big child. Need to do the right thing by the child. I.e., he needs to pay some child support if he doesn't already. And I certainly feel he don't. I heard it's a secret child. Um, I would go get his ass in the court a lot, but I don't have any secret children. I only have two teenagers. So only you know your story, not anybody else, ma'am. I'm pulling you in. I think you watch me or you're about to. Let me see if I hear anything else. His lies are about to seriously backfire on his ass. Seriously. His lies are about to seriously backfire on his ass, seriously. So, um, you go with your bad self, ma'am. You take him. Take him to the court of law, ma'am. Of course, you can listen or not. Uh, only you know if you're going to take him to the court of law. But he, he sounds like a shasty ass uh, immature dude, if you ask me. And that's just the truth. All right. I love you guys. I hope this helped. If you think anyone else would like my channel, please feel free to share it via public media, social media, word of mouth. Love you guys. Namaste.